Hey guys. Hey, it's Mr. Lindy here today, and um, today we're going to be talking about multiplying decimals using the lattice. Now, first off, I want to do is I just want to do a, a quick problem just to go over using the lattice because some of you may not have done it in a while. So let's just say this one I'm going to go 34 times 23. Okay, so you remember that all we have to do is put a 3, a 4, and then on this side, on the right side, put 2 and a 3. Okay, and then we're just going to multiply them out. So 2 times 4 is 8. Remember that the top one is the tens place, the bottom one's the ones. And then 2 times 3 is 6, and then 3 times 4 is 12, and then 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, and then remember how we add? We add diagonally, so we have 2. And 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. So put down the 8 and I carry the 1 up there. And that's 7. And our answer would have been 782. Okay. So that's the old standard way just doing basic multiplication with lattice. Today we're going to add a little extra into it. We're going to put some decimals in it. So once again, parts of the lattice, what I want to re, uh, remind you of is the top is the tens place. Bottom is the ones place. The numbers that we are multiplying, we put each number down the sides. And these diagonals are called the slides. We'll be using those today. So everybody always wondered if they were just separators while we were doing a problem. They actually have a meaning in the, uh, in the multiplying by decimals. So they're pretty cool. Let's go and take a look at one. Okay, first off is where did the decimals go? So if, say I had a number uh, 45 times 1.2. So first off, you would write the normal 4 and a 5, and then you'd have 1, and then the point would go right in between them, and 2. It's very important to make it go right in the middle just like that. And then uh, if you really had to make after the 45, you have to put in your decimal there too. There is... In real life, we just don't do it. We're kind of lazy mathematicians. We don't put in the decimal, but the decimal point would go after the 5 and 45. Okay, another example is if I had see, 0 0.24 times 0 0.16. Well, I don't like to add the zeros into this because it just adds more work, and all they are is anything times 0, 0 anyway, so we're not going to put them in there. But you would put the point right before it, and then the 2, and the 4, and then up top, you'd put the point, and then the 1, and the 6. So as you can see, I have, I've put all the different ways that you may see a decimal point in here, and we're going to do some examples. Okay, first example is 34 times 4.5. So as you remember, 34, put the 3 and the 4, and we need our decimal point. And then 4.5. So multiply them just straight through, just like you normally would. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20. And 5 times 3 is 15. Okay, all that's fine. Keep going. Work it out just like you normally would. So... Adding diagonally, you have 0 and 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 5 is 13. Put down the 3, carry to 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. And then 1. Now, here's where the, uh, the crazy thing happens is we are not allowed to do anything until we put the decimal place in. Now, what I would tell you guys is you would go over and you would count and you'd say that you'd move it over 1 because it's 4.5, because if we looked at the problem, it would look like this, 34 times 4.5. And when you were done, you would just come up to this number right here, and you'd say that there is one digit after the decimal, and that's how many you'd have to move it over. On the lattice board, anywhere where the decimal is, so if it's at the top where the decimal is, it moves down. If it's on the right, it moves left. So what happens is, this one, the one at the very top right here, 
It's going to start moving down, and the one on the right is going to start moving left until they meet each other. So basically, this one goes down, and this one goes over, and they meet right here on this part of the slide. Then they go down the slide together, and the decimal point goes in there. So your answer is 153.0. Okay? I know this may seem a little strange. Let's do a couple others. Okay? Next one. We're going to go... 6.8 times 7.2, okay? So you have your 6.8, then you have your 7.2. Okay, let's see what happens here. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 6 is 42. 2 times 8 is 16, and 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, I flew through those. Got those. Now let's do the adding. Six. We have six plus one is seven plus two is nine. And we have five plus two is seven plus one is eight. And then finally we have four over here. So we have four, eight, nine, six. And now we have to go ahead and put in our decimal point. So you notice this one's going to go down. And this one's going to go left. So down, 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 down. This one's going to go left, left, left. What I normally do is say put your finger on both, make one go down and one go left until they meet. They're going to meet right in that center part right there, and then they're going to go down the slide together, and the decimal point's going to go right there. So your answer is 48.96. Okay? Let's just keep doing them. They're kind of fun once you get going, and they're a lot easier to count than the area method. Um, all right, let's give another one. Okay, we have... 0.25 times 6.4. So, 0.25 and 6.4. Okay, let's answer them. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 2 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20. And 4 times 2 is 8. Okay. So then let's add them. Zero. And then two plus eight is ten. Carry the one, four, six, and then one. And now decimal points. Remember, this one's going to go down. This one's going to go over until they meet. They're going to meet right on this slide right here. They're going to go down together. And there's your decimal point. So it's going to be 1.600 or 1.6. And... Hopefully you start catching a little trick right there. Um, we're going to do a ton of these, so don't worry about it, guys, if you don't quite understand yet. Um, got. I'll go ahead and just draw one on here for you. So we have... I know, great, great artist, Mr. Lindy. Unbelievable. Thank you, guys. Um, so, 0.46 times 0.73. So, same thing, 0.46. And up here, look at that, 0.73. Now, let's go ahead and multiply them out. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 4 is 28. 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 4 is 12. I know I'm flying through it, but we should know our facts by now, correct? Okay, and then I'm going to add diagonally. We have 8, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. We have 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Carry to 1, we have 3. Now, this one looks a little crazy. This can't go down. See, this one goes down, but it can't leave this one that's going left. So this one goes left over here, and they're actually going to meet on what would be right here. The decimal point would go right there. And if you look, if I were to stack these on top of each other, 0.46 times 0.73, and you multiplied it all out, remember, you go up and you count the number of digits after the decimal. So here's one, and you have one, two. Then after this decimal, there's... One, two, so that means four spaces. 
So if we were going to get our answer, you'd go one, two, three, four. Look, it goes right there anyway. So your answer is 0.3358. If you want to put a zero in front, that's fine with me. Okay, guys. So some pretty uh, pretty cool trick right there with lattice. I really like this method. I think uh, students tend to enjoy it. So um, we'll do some more tomorrow. Give it a go. Um, hopefully you paused it a couple times and tried them. Um, this will be probably the day tomorrow. Okay, guys. See you later.